Hi everyone! I said I'd be back with a um, new video. It's just gone nine o'clock hour hour round in the UK. Um, so I thought I'd come back and do another video. I've been meaning to do this one for a while. It was actually requested by my bestie Angie Paisy. Um, she saw me dig out these. Now I don't smoke. My hubby gave up smoking, but these tins haven't come from him. They've come from my friend, and I'm desperate to sort of do something for them anyway she saw me take out these now i've been making these for a while and i just thought mm. she said claire why have you done a video on how to make them they're so pretty basically what they are they're two-toned but when you turn it that way you can see different colors the two-toned butterflies so there's the butterflies and then these are the leaves. Now these leaves I've used on my cards, I've used on boxes. And Angie actually commented on um, these leaves when I was using it on oh, that one's come off. When I was using it on um, one of the cards I was making, she said, Claire, they're absolutely gorgeous. Did you buy them? I said, No, we made them. So they do tend to come off the wire, but there's nothing you can glue them back on. So that's what they look like they're two-toned they are so you get pink and green and you can just do all different kinds of colors so that's what we're making tonight that's what we're making tonight so you for this you will need watercolor paper desperately need watercolor paper any other paper will not work the what because you need to blend it the water soaps up um, normal paper and you're not able to blend your colors i am using watercolor her pre, 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 brush, brushes uh pens that's what they're called they come in a variety of different colors and i have chosen peach orange and red because i want to be doing a bit of an autumn color and i am going to take out a little bit of a green so here we go we are going you will also need some tacky glue um, I've also got near me a bottle of water and I've got my pen full of water as well because that's what comes with the uh, watercolour brushes. Then you'll need your stamps. Now, a variety of different stamps. I've usually got about five sitting on my desk and these are the main three that I do use. So a leaf stamp, which are the, the um, leaves that gives you the leaves. We're going to do hearts, we're going to do two-tone hearts and I'm going to show you how to use them as well, how to sort of bundle them up and use them. And we're going to do butterflies. And you will also need, because you'll be doing the leaves, you'll also need some wire. Now I'm using 0.5mm um, and it's leaf green. It's really nice green to play with and it's bendy and you can do all sorts with this. So that's the wire that I'm using. So let's get cracking. So the first thing you need to do is dampen your page. And I'm just spraying some water now on my things are falling. On my um paper. And then what I'm gonna do just jump there. What I'm going to do is just take this. Now, you're not going to be able to see it because it's water. Water on white doesn't really go. And I'm just taking my brush and I'm just swooping across some water. I'm going to take the lightest colour. This is like a peach colour. And I'm just going to go straight across. Don't worry if you've got dark patch, uh, patches. Don't worry if you can see streaks or where you've painted. This is a whole idea of just having some crafty fun. And to be honest with you, if nobody, you know, there's people out there that say, oh, I can't draw, I can't draw. I get really frightened when it comes to drawing and doing things. Well, with this, it doesn't really matter because you can you can do it. That's what I'm saying. The, the marks you're not going to see. I promise you, you're not going to see them. So I've done a bit of peach there. And I'm going to go over to the all the way to the edge because it may as well because I'm cutting them all out. And down the bottom. Don't worry about joining them up either. Because the, 
the blending tool, so your water brush. Let's just go water in. That'll do that for you. And we're going to add more colour to it. So it doesn't really matter. No, that's the wrong one. Right. So I'm just going to use my brush. I'm going to blend in some of those dark part patches. Go completely over. Right. So we've covered oh, quite a lot at the bottom. That's what it looks like at the bottom. Right. So to make this a bit autumn because I want some autumn leaves, I'm now going to use some orange. So for the orange, I'm just going to go patches. So I'm going to go you, I may go you a little bit. And let's go there. And let's go here and here. So it's sort of everywhere. And then I'm going to build up my little bit of green because this is obviously a leaf. So I'm going to go leaf green there and I'm just going to tidy the green up somewhere over here. There, there and there. Okay, there's the green and um, what the color we needed was red. Now this red will blend. And as you can see, I'm not I'm not being picky of where it's gonna go because I'm punching the stamps out. And to be honest, the stamps will do most of the work for me. So don't worry about oh god, just look at a mess. It will <laughs> it will look a little bit of a mess. That's not looking anything like it at the moment. So all I'm doing is, is I'm sweeping the water across and as I'm sweeping, because it's watercolour paper I'm using and brushes, it's sweeping the colours with me. But if you didn't want to sweep the colours, all you'd need to do is go on to, just, you just didn't, just don't take another uh, water over, that's all. All I'm doing is I'm just going in between those gaps, taking the colour with me. This will take a little bit to dry, so we're gonna while this is drying, we're gonna work on the butterflies I've got planned. Okay, so that looks a bit of a mess, yeah. So let's work on the butterflies. So for the butterflies, I tend to go with the spray more than I do anything, and I'm gonna go light pink. And if you think your paper is running, you know, it's too dry, add some more water. So all I'm doing now is I'm just adding some pink to this page. And I'm going to do a two-tone effect. So to do that... So there's my, you can't probably see that, so there's the pink, um, right, this is the two-toned, I'm going to add a little bit of pink here, and as you can see, because the cut, the water's on there, I barely touch in this pen, and it's just dragging the water. Just dragging water across. Right now, can you see how the pink starting to layer up? And we can add a little bit of yellow. And then I'm going to go back over it with that dust. That really dark, dark pink. So you can play about with all the colours you've got if you want to. Or you can stick to the... It's 
totally up to you what colors you choose you could go black you could do black butterflies you could go you could you could it's totally up to you what colors you choose right now i think i'm done right this should be dry but if it's not i'm gonna do my helping hand and i'm gonna give it the dry So these will turn out like autumn leaves and um, the butterflies my dad a little bit of purple tom right the bottom bit is dry now so what you do is this i'm going to turn the top bit of that isn't dry and um, i'm not bothered by that at the moment because um i can always go back to it what you do is you cut that strip out leave that dry this should be yes completely dry now this punch this leaf punch will only punch I'll only punch sort of one section so out of this leaf punch I could probably get maybe three four strips see if I'm not right yeah I can get three four strips out so I'm gonna cut them down to three four strips and then I'm gonna show you how each leaf will be completely different from the rest Let's start pinching. So let's do this one first. You can already see the different colours in there. Now, my dog absolutely hates my pinching. I don't know what it is. There's one. And then you just keep going until you get a real nice selection. Can you see how I've got autumn leaves already? And I, you know, with the colours that I put, I was I wasn't particular either, was I? I wasn't going in any particular straight line. And I'm punching it like this so I can see the paper going underneath so I know how much paper I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch this strip with you. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch the other strips off camera and come back to you. There's another three, I think. There. 
number three. So I'm gonna leave it there now. I'm gonna I've got a few there to see, but I want you to see the different colours. So I'm gonna punch these. I'm gonna punch punch them off camera and then I'll come back to you straight away. Hi guys, so those are my leaves, those are my autumn leaves. How cool and awesome do they look? They look really awesome, they look real proper autumn, um, proper spring. They just look gorgeous, I love the colours in them and you saw how I did them. So the next bit now is, right, is two things. Firstly, I... Not to all of them, but to some of them that are a bit lighter. I tend to use what is it called? Pearl Effect. It's um oh goodness me, what's it called? What's it called? Glossy accent. And I tend to put a little bit too much on my put some on my mat, squeeze it, and then it'll shine show you now what i've just done because i didn't show you on film so what i do is this put some on my mat and i'm not going in the center as in such and then they will shine and that's what i tend to do to some of them I'm shining. I wish my camera would focus. I'm only going to do it to if this glossy accent runs out, and then I can show you something else that I do to them. And they're so awesome. I love using these. I absolutely love. I love the colours that you can get because you can you can all you can punch the same colours twice, but you'll never get the same effect ever because. It's handmade. If you made something twice, you'd never get the same effect. What is that one? That one didn't have much on. No, it has. And you can put glitter on them. You can do all sorts to them. So, I've got a few more that I can... See, some of them are quite light, but that's okay by me because that's okay by me. And there's that one. Right, so what I've done now is I, the ones I've glossy accents I've left to one side. The ones I haven't is all here. So the next step that you'll need, just the lid on this, is some wire. And you'll need some tacky glue. And what you tend to do is now sometimes you it's a bit of a fiddly job, it is. And I promise you it is a fiddly job, but it's well worth doing to get the effect that you need. I'm just getting the brush. Okay, so I've got a brush now. I like to cut my wire. It's gonna roll out at least two inches okay at least two inches now i should not cut to be cutting it with scissors but i am do and i can say i'm going to do a few with the wire and a few with a glossy accent to give you an idea on how to use them four and let's do five okay and then we can do the butterflies okay so Pick your your uh, leaf first of all. Let's go the dark. Or let's go the two tone one. This one. Show no to me. Um, put a little bit of glue on the back. Now it is wire. It will take a little time to set. What I tend to do while that's setting, some leaves I like to do like a um, what they call it, an overlay, so they look something like so okay so i'm going to put that just 
like so and let's do that again so this one oops let's do this one this one put some glue on the back put your wire there so it goes sort of halfway and i'm going to put some more glue i knew that wasn't going to stick because i didn't put enough glue there put some halfway and then use another one of your leaves that you're doing glossy accent you can glossy accent after you've done these but not while you're doing it and then you've got two toned got two leaves in one okay how to do one leaf simple you just pick up one leaf put a little bit of glue on the back might only have time to do the hearts tonight guys okay Then you've got just one, okay. And I've got two more, so we're going to pick that one. Grab some wire. Come on. Like I say, it is a bit fiddly, but when you get it going, they turn up brilliant. There's another one. And then last one. Again, right, I'm going to do the last one a little bit different. So, grab a... Grab two at the moment, right? So, grab one. Overlay the second one. Like I showed you right at the beginning. Put some glue on both of them at the back. Put some wire on the back of that. And then on the third one. You can have it poking out like so. So it goes like that. So that's how you do that, right? So you know roughly now how to do the leaves. Leave those leaves there. So we've got the leaves and we've got some on wire and so forth. Can we stick that down? And these are the ones on wire that we've done. And we're going to do the butterflies. Now the butterflies are a little bit different, done with the same effect. Um, obviously they're not leaves, so they don't sort of spot I you know like that one I definitely use I definitely use all of them so with the uh, butterfly cut a strip out on the paper like so I'm going to raise you up a bit and I'm going to go now this is a little bit damp so it may work it may not work cut the bottom because there's nothing there and the butterfly is a little bit big and it's got a uh, thing on the bottom for me to retrieve it afterwards so me, just me, just get one strip out, we'll see. So I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to crunch it across. Crunch it across. Crunch it across. And because we've come to the end, if I turn that around, okay, put it there. I hope you guys can see this. Sorry, I didn't mean to be out of shot then. Don't want to just strip those leaves. There. Just sort of almost do the bottom as well without cutting them out. Because sometimes they come out as full one. Sometimes they don't. Right, okay. So I've got some that's whole, some that's not. Throw that out and we'll move these leaves to one side. Move up there. Right, these butterflies. Let's get all these butterflies out. Okay. 
they are a bit damp which is why they're sticking together you can see the different colors on them um, let me just get these sort of last few out there okay so what you do is you know that little uh, paintbrush that we got grab one put it in the center of the butterfly grab another one now you can do this for any size butterfly they like say the bigger the butterfly the better I don't know whether you could do it with die cuts actually again in the center in the center let those wings come up the paper is still damp push those wings up well, we've got enough to do all of them uh, that one just like so now this one hasn't got any sort of color really on this so this is where i would add the glossy accent Uh, and there's two more and I leave them on my desk all night to dry before I start picking well if you're doing them through in the day and you want them for your project leave them on your desk for a good oh, I don't know half an hour 20 minutes and then go back to them if they're still damp don't touch them Give them another half an hour because what will happen is the paper will tear and then you've lost your butterfly or leaf or whatever it is you're working on. So that's how you do the butterflies and the leaves. I hope that um, I've given you some inspiration. The heart is the same way. Um, now I didn't do any coloured for the heart but the heart is exactly the same way. You would do your colour on your water um, on your water colour on your watercolour page and then you'd punch them and then you can overlap the heart just like you can do with the leaves but as you see with the leaves they're all different colours and they remind me of like spring and autumn now I'm going to zoom you down for you to sort of see for yourself what I'm seeing um, like I'm going to leave mine exactly there I'm going to put a little bit of glossy accent just on one butterfly for you to sort of see the difference There. Oh. See it shining? Right, so those are the leaves. Now these are the butterflies. That's the one I've just done there. So let me know what you thought of that. Um, like I say, it was requested by Angie. Um I didn't think I did anything that special. I've been doing them oh god for many months now and i just i love using them especially in my card making you can even make these out of pattern paper so don't think that you've got to go out and get um what do you call it watercolor paper because they can be made out of any sort of pattern paper you can use your scraps up to make these it doesn't necessarily have to be um you playing about with paper that you may not have got so just think about it because they are unusual and you get to see um the different well you get to see when you get to see the different um, effects that you can have and the more color you use the more effects you have like i say i used the watercolor pens and they seem to be working perfectly fine and that's how they are and you can work them with um what do we you can work them with water, you can work them on their own, you could even do, now I've been wanting to do, chalk, 
black and use black and white butterflies to see I mean steampunk black and white surely so have a go let me know what you thought um I'm definitely gonna be using these I might even send some out as gifts when I do my RAK packages now in the next couple of days um I just wanted to say thank you all for watching I am back I am back doing my live shows that's my big news I'm back doing my live show um I will be back Friday at nine o'clock I do apologize for me being too quiet tonight um I wanted to come on and show you this but as I, as I was doing I was getting a little bit tired so I wanted to thank you for sticking around and watching me and um like I said, I am back. I'm doing my live on Friday. I cannot wait. Um, we're going to be doing something with Lace. And we're going to do something with all the goodies I've been sent this week. Um, so, yeah. Come and join me. Please come and join me. Please come and tell your family and friends. Share my videos if you want to. I really don't mind. Um, and, yeah. the the sub new, Welcome to my new subscribers. And I can't wait. I can't wait so thank you so much thank you for everybody for watching let me know if you give these a go and i will catch up with you very shortly take care bye for now